Yo, what's going on everyone? We are back at another video with the G35 and I just wanted to make this quick video uh, about the Spec D headlights for the G35 Coupe and uh, some of the issues I've had and things that you should watch out for when you buy these headlights. Um, things you should do when you buy them so that way you don't run into these problems, you know, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, when you get the headlights and they come in, it's just the headlights. There's no ballast or bulbs or anything. So you do need to pull the bulbs and the ballast from your stock headlights or whatever headlights you have currently and put them in these. Now that the bumper's off, I believe there's a couple bolts. There's this one right here. There's one right here. I believe there is one right here. And I think there's one more. Uh, when I pop the hood, there's gonna be another one right there. But there's uh, four bolts on each side. And uh, once you get them loose, you can kind of pop them out and unplug them and then make sure to disconnect your battery and everything before that. But um, yeah, it's all uh, gut out your old ones, put them in the new one, plug and play. It's super simple. Um, you do have to take your bumper off to do that, but uh, I already have that. Okay, excuse the engine bay. It's super dirty. I really need to get that clean, especially that. Um... <laughs> Anyways, uh, so basically, first things first, when you buy these, you need to get this piece right here. As you can see, it's kind of like cracked open. You need to get that sealed flex seal, head gasket maker, a headlight sealant, anything all the way behind here, all the way around the whole headlight. I don't know if you can see this right here. Uh, there is condensation in my headlight and it hasn't even rained in like a week. And I don't know where the humidity comes from. It uh, stays over 100 degrees as of right now. So... Yes, uh, I've had water in my headlight down here and it's slowly going away. Also, another thing with these headlights is in the back. I have no fender liner at the current moment, but uh, I don't know if you can see this. Behind the headlight, you can see the uh, ballast right there, or uh, the piece that goes to the uh, headlight itself, the low beam. And uh, there should be a cap around there and I'm currently missing that cap. It is um, not there. I don't know how it came off, but uh, there's some screws. Um, I'll put little arrows to them right now, or at least some that you could see. Um, they should be there, but they're not. So I don't have those caps. So any kind of water that I drive through just shoots right, right, just shoots right in them because my wheels spin this way, and the water will just kind of shoot right up in there. And um, I don't know if you can see the bottom one. There's a little rubber cap. If I can get the camera, there we go. Um, focused a little bit. There's a little rubber cap there. That's been fine, but it's mainly this cap. And I actually called Spec D Tuning about this situation, and they don't sell the caps separately. And um, they've had a lot of people asking about the caps themselves. So, yeah, you kind of need to buy new headlights to fix this situation. Uh, you could probably buy some like rubber uh, dust caps, but uh, they they won't work as well because uh, you know they won't stick on there like um, bolted in situation. I have the same situation on this side as well. As you can see, there is no cap covering this one as well. So water just shoots in them. And uh, I've gone through two sets of ballast already and they just get shot up. So there's water coming in from the back and every time it rains or just kind of gets humid outside, the sealant right here, everything just goes straight into that. So they've had a little bit of water damage, but um, it's repairable. I mean, you just probably just got to get new ballast and put new um, caps on there if you can find a way to do that. <laughs> but uh, besides that, everything really works perfectly fine. They're uh, great headlights. They have uh, the little animation for the turn signal and hazards. They have your uh, low beam and high beam, black housing. Uh, they can come in chrome housing. I actually ordered a new pair. They're going to be the uh, black housing smoked. So um, we'll see that soon. Um, I believe this week they're coming in. But yeah, I just wanted to make this little vid short video for you guys about uh, these headlights and the issues I've had and uh, things you got to do to not have these problems because uh i don't want any of you guys having issues with their headlights like i am but yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video hope it was helpful let me know if you have any questions down below and i'll try to respond to as many people as i can and uh yeah see you next time